will mark two months since the Stockley verdict was released. One of the hardest hit areas during the unrest that followed was the Del Mar Loop. Our Ryan Dean is live there now with how the damage has actually been turned into art. Ryan, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Allie. Yes, yeah, so about two dozen businesses here on the loop were damaged during the unrest. Now, a lot of business had their actual windows smashed out. Now, of course, the windows have been repaired, but for some time, there's actually these large pieces of plywood that covered the windows. Let's show you some video. One of the lasting images that uh, you know a lot of people think about when it comes to the, the moments after that unrest is how this community came together, including artists here on the Del Mar Loop to paint some of the those pieces of plywood uh, to give them some character or as they kind of stood there to, to cover the damage uh, that was done by the vandalism. And now those pieces of art are part of a gallery at Fontbonne University, which is about a mile and a half from here. The exhibit is called The Art of Protest and Peace. We like the idea of everyone being neighborly and everyone coming together as a community and that was really the focus of the show, get the artists some uh, recognition for what they've done, you know, to go out and treat other people well. Some of the pieces of wood that are also being featured are from the downtown unrest as well. Now, there's a panel discussion tonight at 6. Uh, some of the artists, also some of the business owners here on the loop will be part of that panel discussion. That's at the Student Center there at Fontbonne University, and that's at 6 o'clock. That is the very latest from the Del Mar Loop. Ryan Dean, 5 on your side.